Um, I've got mud on my shoes and I'm on the rug, so should I just take them off? No, it's fine. You don't really have mud on your shoes. I think it will... I think... Okay. It's okay. Cool. All right. Well, there Welcome we go. Welcome back to the show. And you're allowed to get mud on the rug if Ruby says you are. Yeah. I feel good today, so you are. So sick. <laughs> What's going on? Hi. We've had a long day. We're actually we're actually doing this pod at like past 5.30 and I'm done. Past 5.30 on a Monday <laughs> and we are way over a day late. We're a day late, guys. Release. I don't know if anyone cares about the schedule, if they even know. No, I don't know either. But, but we are five days late for recording. Do you know that? Yeah, it's been busy. We've had a busy day today. We've had a super busy day today. But it's uh, what, it's been good, I was going to say. I think it's been good. I've had lots to do. We never record the pod this late, so let's try and keep the energy up. Because we've got a good episode coming ahead. There's actually a great episode coming because we have a couple of questions that we just decided were like so good that we'll just use yeah. them to do the whole podcast, right? They're like two questions about two different topics and yeah, we just thought we would roll with them and then talk about them for the whole time. The, they're like, we haven't spoken about it before, but like we, or like we haven't spoke about it since they came in. Oh yeah. This isn't like pre-discussed. Oh no, we don't talk about the like, questions before we record. We, we read the questions when they come in and we're yeah. like, that's a good one. Let's yeah, put yeah, that yeah. on the list. Totally. And these two are like we knew we would have a lot to say about it yeah so so we're gonna go for it yeah um it feels like ages since we've recorded because we didn't do it on time yeah exactly we're like a week late for recording and i really look forward to doing it every week so yeah, me we need too. to get back on track with it yeah um should we go straight in with the questions yeah let's okay Okay. Also, just want to say one thing first. Really appreciate the kind messages we're getting from people. Yeah, it's it's like, I think someone has to really go out of their way to message just to be like, this. Like I really like this. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, keep it's going, so I like It's so easy to be full of hate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like really yeah. easy to be like, this is shit. And See then, yeah, like like the motivation to DM us and yeah. write a little paragraph about how you like the pod and stuff is like, I, I'm not, oh, it's going to make me sound quite bad. I'm just, I don't think to do that. Sure. Like I like a lot of podcasts and I like a lot of content and I never really go out of my way to like tell anybody. I just secretly enjoy it. So I feel like I should start just saying it because it's so nice to hear. I think since I've been doing creative stuff, mm. I've slowly become more and more supportive of other people yeah. also doing yeah. like, stuff that I think is cool. Yeah. And like... I have like my people that I do support, but yeah. I wouldn't... It's like, I, I don't think about it, you know? It's quite... I I should. I also think it's really easy to think that someone's like big on Instagram yeah. so they don't need support. I think that's what like, I think. So I'm like, oh, they, they don't need my DM. And it's like, well, if yeah. everyone thought like that, no one would know how good anything is because yeah, exactly. no one would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frida's here cool. too. She's got her back to everyone. She's like Sorry. absolutely fuming. We're, we're an hour late for dinner already. <laughs> She's and we're going to so be an hour and a half late, honestly. I'm starving. We're going to have spaghetti bolognese tonight. Yeah, I've Monday got night. football, so I'm, I'm not going to eat till... We're not going to eat for hours. For hours and hours. I'm going to eat as soon as we get home. Anyway. Okay. Shall we do it? Let's go. Yeah. Do you want to read one or am I? How did I do last week? Did you like my reading? I think you did good. Yeah. Thank you, honey. Can I read it? Yeah. Cool. (laughs) I think you did good. Can I read it? I'm joking. Okay. How do you view your friendships? Sometimes my friendships and the way they feel... Sorry. Sometimes my friendships and the way they feel like the most important things in my life. And sometimes it isn't always helpful. (laughs) I'm going to just start reading this again. Okay. How do you view your friendships? Sometimes my friendships feel like the most important thing in my life. And that isn't always helpful. Just wondered if you guys have any thoughts on this. Very interesting that we got one about friendships. Because I wanted the topic to be about friendship cool so this is this is perfect yeah amazing do you have anything you want to say off straight off the bat oh like i think we've we both have like lots of like encouraging thoughts about this whole process right Mm -hmm. process 
Um, I go on. No, I was just opening my mouth to oh. say something, but had you thought before? You yeah, were gonna say but yet? I'm going to interrupt you. That's right. Go on. Say. I was just going to say that I think that friendship changes a lot throughout, like at your different ages. Right. Like throughout your life. Sure. So like how I feel about, I mean, maybe that's a very obvious thing to say, but like how I feel about my friends when I was 19 is totally different to when I'm 22 and then now I'm 26. It's like totally different again. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, I like, I don't know. I think it's like, it totally depends where you are in your life, I think. I think that's more, that's a more important part is like where you are in your life, not your age. Yeah. You know, I just meant that, like where I was at those ages, I guess. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. I've, I've also gone through, I think you must, like surely. Yeah, that everyone must, must do, it's yeah. Like go through phases of like needing different things from different people. Mm. And it's almost like easier to think about that when you're thinking of like a romantic relationship Mm. but actually like your friends are just as important it's so funny i read i saw this thing and i'm sure like a lot of people know about this like quote or whatever but it's like we put so much emphasis on romantic relationships Mm. and it's like the most important thing everyone talks about it and it's like i need advice like you like nurture this thing but it's like friends don't ever go anywhere like you break up with these people and you never see them again but your friends are there forever like I mean not all the time but like most of the time your friends are there forever so like why don't we put that like romanticize friendship and en- like enough because yeah, 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 it's yeah. so like we should be nurturing our friendships so more than our yeah. romantic relationships almost I do want to say though like when we're talking about friendships I don't I feel like I don't want people to feel triggered by this because saying something like friendship is the most important thing ever is quite like intense because some people don't have great friendships Mm -hmm. or like don't feel great about their friends. And I don't think you need to have like a gang of friends. And, you know, I I feel like I, I in the past have felt very like, I need to have 10 friends and and we need to be like a really tight knit gang. I literally think you can have one or two amazing friends and, Mm -hmm. and that can carry you through. Do you know what I mean by that? Like friendship can be quite daunting because if you don't feel like, and everyone's like your team are represent, like what's that saying? That's like, your vibe is your tribe. Like the people you surround yourself with, like should reflect you. And it's like, it is quite hard to find real friends who you feel good about, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, you might find that like later in life you find those people and do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm, Completely. I think it can be like a bit, of a lot of pressure. Yeah. When we talk about this. Well, like I guess the majority of people, their friend, their like, the way their friendships move will look something like, you are friends with like the people that you go to school with. Mm -hmm. And then like, as you grow up, you're still just friends with people that you go to school with. And then when you leave school, you make new friends. And and you kind of think some of your school friends stick around and some of them don't. Some of them don't. And you think like, am I actually friends with you? Or is it because we've been at school together Mm. for like 10 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just like the the whole thing is changing all the time. Mm. I think it's like important to like really value your own um, like thoughts and mental health when you think about your friends. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think like probably there, there like comes a time where it definitely happened for me. Mm. Like there came a time where I realized that maybe like some people that I, that I had, that I either thought were my friends or like that were my friends yeah. who I actually was hanging out with and they were my friends. Like in that capacity weren't good for my mental health. For my mental health. Like when you or, left them, you didn't feel good. 
Yeah, exactly. Like when you walk away it's from like, your friends, you're you've it's a real telling sign of like do you feel full and and happy and you had a good time mm. and you feel good and you feel like yourself mm-hmm. or do you feel drained and empty and annoyed and confused yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. frustrated it's like the thing actually I can go in, I can go into that a bit more detail because like the weird thing is um like I've sort of I sort of have picked like worked out who my like ride or dies are yeah right same who actually bring a lot to my life Mm. and who I like care about and who I don't know like who I would take to a desert island with me do you know what I mean yeah um and before that I had a really toxic relationship with like 10 guys yeah who were remember who were like in my group right Mm. and anyway my point is if I if I didn't think that this was appropriate to say because I wasn't mates with those people, I wouldn't say it. Mm. But but I think this is important, and it's that I was in a group chat with though with all those boys for like ten years, mm. and and it gave me depression. Yeah. Because I didn't like because like I just didn't like the vibe. And it's popping up on your phone every day. Yeah. And I was, but I think I was like, I've, uh, I thought like, these guys are my friends. This is what, this is what my life I looks to, like. like. These are my mates. Like, how, my yeah, what would I do without any mates? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then anyway, I'm like, just, just cut a long story short. Mm. I removed myself from that group. Not like the, what? Like, well, yeah, I did like, yeah. But I just completely separated myself from everyone but a couple of people who didn't make me feel like shit all the time. Mm-hmm. And then, and and all it took was a bit of separation. And now I'm individually friends with the majority of those people. Mm. And I have a really good relationship with all of them. It's like... I, I just like, I, for me, like that... That, that being like, in the group, group setting didn't work for didn't me at serve all. Didn't you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my point is, I'm not just telling a pointless story. My point is like, you should, you should prioritize yourself when you work out how your friendships work for you. Yeah, you know? completely agree. It's like you didn't, you wouldn't enjoy going to the pub with all ten of them because you just wouldn't. You would have felt like shit when you leave. Mm-hmm. But now you enjoy speaking to the majority of them individually because it's on your terms and it's like the vibe's right for you. And you're yeah. like not just sitting there listening to stuff that you don't agree with and you don't rate and being quiet and then going home and being like, why do I feel like shit? Like that's yeah. what was happening, right? Yeah, to some extent, something like that. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, that's that's like... Well, that's like, yeah. Yeah. Shall I not say that? No, that's totally fine. Oh, okay. I just that that wasn't like exactly how. No, but I just I don't I I don't know. Yeah, no, it, I I guess I don't really know either, and I think that's like quite hard as well, is because like I haven't super deeply analysed mm. like my relationship with every single person or, or like why I didn't like that group so much, but like it just was a bit toxic for me. Yeah, and so so I removed myself from that like mm. friendship group not even like officially I just sort of slipped away yeah I think it's important to like I don't know like think about yeah how you feel when you think about your friends like forget how long you've known them forget like how you always do group stuff and you want to see that person so you've got to be friends with that person sitting next to them because you'll never see the person that you like that all of that like doesn't really matter you have to think about like them individually and yeah if you like do you feel cool when you're with them and do you look forward to talking to them Mm -hmm. and like I think COVID as well not to bring up COVID but like it it changed a lot of things for everybody and like in COVID I didn't speak to a handful of people and I spoke to all my ride or dies like throughout COVID and then Mm -hmm. I was like ah like 
not that I don't care about them, but like, okay, maybe those people who I didn't really want to see or miss, or maybe they're just like my tier three friends and they don't have to be my tier ones because it's less pressure having less tier ones. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like my group of friends is like, we have a really big group from school that we're all still friends with, but I have, and I used to think that I had to see everybody and like, oh my God, and I'd have anxiety and and a pit in my stomach if like I didn't catch up with that girl group or that boy group. And now it's like, actually, it's not that deep. Like we're all adults and Mm. I have a select few people from my school friends who are still in my life now. And the people that I don't talk to, it's like, cool. Like if I saw you in the pub, I'd be like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in ages. Like, it's not, I used to think it was like, you had to pick and it's Mm. not, it's like, if you don't really talk anymore, they don't talk to you, you don't talk to them, wish you well, like, it's fine. And what do we always say? It's not, nothing's concrete. Nothing's, nothing's concrete, set yeah. Stone. It's like, like, I have people on my WhatsApp list now who I, te- who I text, who last year I would never have texted. Yeah. But it's like, things change, like. Things change, it just it's like always moving. comes and goes, doesn't it? Like. It is um, interesting though, isn't it, friendship? Because it, it, it's different for everybody. Mm-hmm. Some people really enjoy having like two or three mates and that that's fulfilling for them in their life. Some people like to have loads of different friends. Like for me, I always think about like my birthday, like my birthday's not coming up, but like whatever. I was thinking about it and it's like, if you put all my best friends in a room, they wouldn't hardly, well, half of them would know each other and the other half are like, one of them lives in Austria, one of them lives in London and doesn't know the other ones. Like I have a really random selection of friends who are my best friends. Mm-hmm. And I used to think that was a bad thing because it'd be like, oh, if they all, if we all had dinner for my birthday, no one would know each other. And and it's like, you don't have to put them all in a room. Like that doesn't have yeah, to be completely. a thing. Yeah. So like you can have friends in every, do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like from loads of different places. And I like that because it's all, they're not all connected. It's like, it's different. Everybody brings something different. You know what I mean? I completely know what you mean. And I, and I really rate that. And I love how like my, my friendship group is like diversifying. Yeah. I think. And like me and you have made yeah. really good friends. Together. Together. And I never, I've never done that with a cup with a boyfriend before. Yeah. I've kept it very separate. Like never wanted my, I never like, we never made friends together. Sure. I love that. It's so fun. Yeah. I. Emily and Zach we're talking about. We are talking about Emily and Zach, <laughs> yeah. Um, what yeah. was the question? And again? I guess like a few people that you had, who, who you knew oh, previously, yeah. like that I've. Now you, they're your friends too. No, they're like my friends too. And I feel, I feel like really. Shout out Judd. Um, Sorry. But what I, what I kind of was trying to, what I want to get onto is mm. like. You can totally tell when the people that you're that you would rely on mm. are close and are good for your life. Yeah. Um, and also, I think if you really think about it, you can tell the type of people, specific or specific people who aren't that for you. Mm. Um, and I think when you talk about like friendships. Um, being feeling too important in your life, right? Because that's what the person yeah. the text saying. I I wonder whether they feel like that because they're actually putting these friendships first, mm. and those people aren't the people that they would that they trust and that bring them joy and mm. that they want to spend time with and that they. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like it should, those people who you're talking about, the person who wrote in, like they shouldn't feel like a chore or a responsibility or, or you just kind of know when you think about someone, if it gives you like a stomach ache or if it doesn't, like if those people, if you're feeling like it's too much pressure to be friends with them and it's too intense, then that's not sustainable for your life. Yeah. And I, I would, 
well, I guess I'm just going to repeat my point, but I guess mm. if they feel like you've made them too important, then you probably then they have. are. Yeah. Then they have made, like, been made too important. You, yeah. But but like the other the other side to my point is like, I don't feel like I could make Zach and Emily too important. Same. Do you know what I mean? Because Same. they because just as an example. Yeah. Because they every time we're with them. Mm they it's lovely vibes yeah they are they're like supportive yeah they're enjoyable to be around it's not too much it's pressure. never too much no it's like there's no guilt when you don't see them so yeah i mean i don't know if we're like am i being intense about zach and emily no well I think they're just they're a good just example ex- a good right example. because because and, and i'm only saying them because we met them together yeah right so they're like a new set of friends <laughs> Yeah. I feel like I'm digging a hole now. Well, but, can I just but, say, what, yeah. what you're trying to say is, we're not saying exactly them, but the, the people who should be important, it, it shouldn't be like, like they shouldn't make, they should meet you halfway and it should be very balanced. You should feel like you both see each other as much as you want. It's yeah. not too much on each side. Yeah. They don't ask too much of you. Uh-huh. They meet you in the middle, yeah. which is what a friendship is. It's meant to be forgiving if you can't see each other, understanding. It should be a, a smooth ocean. It shouldn't Completely. be rough. It shouldn't be yeah. like suffocating. Yeah. It's like they don't feel too important because they're not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not they're not too important. And they're also not trying to force themselves to be yeah. too important, you know, which is another like from the other side, it's like it's like people I've had can be very like overbearing. Yeah. And and I think like it's very easy for friends to be, yeah, overbearing. Like I've had friends who I've been friends with for ten years who I never see, who are my best friends and who who check in and text and it's just like there's no like, oh, you never talked to me or why haven't you not seen me? We haven't seen each other for this long. It's like all of that is so much pressure mm. and it ruins it. Mm-hmm. It's like you you should be able to live your life and and when you want to dip into your friends, feel like it's easy and and lovely yeah, and friendly and nice and not, oh God, I haven't texted them back. They're going to be annoyed. Oh God. It's like there's no space for that at all do you know what i was just thinking and this is very like inception podcast inception (laughs) go on i was just thinking of a situation outside of the podcast yeah thinking about the fact that i should explain it on on the on the podcast now (laughs) while you were talking right right what i was thinking was i hope us talking about so this is me thinking in my head okay i hope us doing a podcast about friends doesn't um bring us a load of like bullshit energy from people who are upset about what we said about them who like who we're friends with right we haven't really said anything bad though no exactly but but also like i was just thinking then (laughs) so this is this (laughs) This is is podcast inception yeah yeah yeah. no this is this is deep but i think this is this is an interesting point and it has a it's like a story that has a meaning behind it right i was thinking Oh God, we've really like, we name dropped Judd and we name dropped Zach and Emily. Mm. Yeah. Then I thought, I hope the people that we don't name name drop. drop, Let me explain my point, please. Because it's very, sorry, (laughs) I I, I, I could feel you button in there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to, I want to like say my point. I, I was thinking, oh, I hope the people that we don't name drop aren't like pissed off and it doesn't bring toxic energy to us right because people who we're friends with are annoyed that we haven't name dropped them on the friend podcast and then i thought that is a perfect example of the people who are good friends who bring good energy who you should trust and who don't feel too important because they couldn't possibly be too important because they are important <laughs> those are the people who won't fucking yeah, bring get that energy hurt to about you. it yeah, you know, know? So it's like, I don't care because anyone who feels like they should be named, well, you just expect that you were in my head. Totally, you know I mean? totally. Like, don't bring the energy, don't bring that toxic energy. It, um, oh, fuck, I just thought something and I forgot, <laughs> and I forgot it. Sorry, um, I went oh, off I was on a real say, tangent. No, it links to your point. Go on. Starting a business is a great telling of who's your mate. Yeah, that's true. Like, not that everyone has to like cheerlead you, but it's like, 
people that support the cause who might not really understand it but want to want to support you and cheer you on like yeah. will yeah and the people who you know might like take the piss or or kind of just like I don't know. You just know that they're not asking about it or care. Or care. Like, mm. you know that you can just let them go off and live their life in the world. And I think it's yeah. a great telling of like, because I've my friends have really like backed it more than I thought. I thought everyone would just got sort of silently Instagram like maybe the posts and just, yeah. but it's like my mates have really, they're interested in it and I never mm. thought that they would be, but mm. you know what I mean? So yeah, I also think, to, to follow on from that even more yeah. it's like you don't even specifically have to cut those other people out no way no but it's like you just it, it i feel like the way i view my friendships with people now is like everything happens for a reason yeah what will be will be yeah. who will be close will be close yeah. and people who won't won't and it's like and, it's and that's always yeah moving. wish you well like no bad blood I feel yeah. like when you're younger, it's like, I'm not really friends with them. Like, I don't really know them. And yeah. it's like, now it's just like, love you. We we were friends once. We're not really anymore. But like, yeah. how great that we, we met. And maybe years. we will be in 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like, I hope we've answered the question. Yeah. See, I mean, it, that was more of like a prompt just for us to like I know, talk about but friends. I hope we, this person a lot. doesn't like have, yeah, pressure on their shoulders from their friends. Because I think you really need to make a list of the people who make you feel like that and and just reevaluate and yeah and the other thing i think nothing needs to be deep or dramatic uh -huh. unless it's very very intense i don't think you need to really say this yeah. isn't a great friendship for me right now unless yeah. unless that is appropriate i do think obviously like communication is is good but sometimes you can just do your own thing and and go the other way and naturally you'll drift apart i yeah. don't don't want you to feel like you have to make a list of people and then break up with each one individually. It's mm -hmm. like, you totally don't. You totally don't. It's like you can silently just prioritize people who make you feel yeah. good. and Fill your calendar with those people. people who don't. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, oh, oops, your week's full with all the people that you want to have a coffee with and you just, mm -hmm. you can't see anyone else. And then it's just like the days roll on and time goes on. And yeah. Yeah. Prioritize yourself. You should be at the top of the Mate, priority I'll list. Just take yourself out for a coffee. Yeah, literally. Friends is I could talk about friends for like three episodes. Yeah. Should we go to the next question? Yeah, let's. I wanted to keep this short because I want to cut it and get it up before I go out tonight. <laughs> See, so. we don't want that energy in it. It's trying to rush it. <laughs> this is a work of art, guys. <laughs> There's no cutting edges around here. Okay. Can I read it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you wanted you to read it again. I don't mind. You can totally read it. Thank you. Hang on, sorry. I'm just getting out of there. I'm not cutting this. No bit rush. Out, so One sec. Everyone's just going to have to listen. No, you're not cutting it out, babe. You have to cut out something else as well. I'll cut out the start. That's it. No, you're cutting out the bit where... Why can't you both be in this? Rubes is trying to do some BTS while we're actually still filming, which is ridiculous. She's just gotten up. We're cutting it out, so. What do you want me to do to the... No, it's, it's of me as well. Cool. Carrying on? Yeah, let me read it. Okay. Okay. Whenever I'm in a relationship, I can't help sometimes feeling like my other half might all of a sudden change their mind about me and want to leave. What are your biggest insecurities and how do you handle them? We shouldn't have spent so long talking about the first one. God damn, we are going to have to cut this one short and re re <laughs> No, I'm really into time. this question. Okay. Um, um, straight off the bat, everybody has insecurities. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Do you think it's normal to feel worried that your partner is going to just no, up and leave um, immediately? I think... I think it depends on your mental health and your history and your past. Sure. But I don't think that's a normal feeling. I feel like that's completely unsustainable. Well, it's, un it's, it's unsustainable and it's unacceptable, really. You can't live your life worrying your partner's going to leave you. But the person who wrote in might have, like, previous trauma. Got you. So 
in a in an ideal world, you should never even that thought should never be in your daily thoughts. It's like the bare minimum is to be with somebody who you hope you have open communication with. So if they do want to leave you, you will have some kind of clue or you know pre quest to that yeah you should never be with someone who you think would hold it in and never and not communicate their their worries or their feelings and then one day stand up and leave like mm-hmm. i know you would never ever do that because we talk too much yeah <laughs> i wouldn't be able to i'd tell you i was planning it, even Whereas if it was gonna be a secret. i think we'd both be like hey i need to tell you how i'm feeling because i have to tell you how i'm feeling you mm. know but everybody has insecurities don't they yeah like they do like well should we say what our insecurities are sure um is it like our insecurities as a couple rather than like me being like I my think podgy it's... belly is my insecurity <laughs> do you know what i mean i think maybe both i guess like our ins- my insecurities for us as a couple like might be i don't even know yeah, I was just trying Don't to even think. think I have any. Right. Sometimes I think, oh, you know, what what happens if like with age and like kids and mundane, the mundanity of life, what if we just like turn into a jacket potato couple and fall out of love? Like that would be really sad. But then it's like, that isn't something that I can really worry about now or help. Yeah, you, do know? you know, I still feel like... I still feel like that won't really happen. I was just about to say, I feel like even if that did happen, it's very like what will be will be at also, that like, point. Yeah, that's meant like, to happen then. Like yeah, you're not meant to be together forever. Exactly. Like if we have if we have ten years of like a lovely relationship where we talk about And that's our time. That like, was all it was meant to be. Yeah. I but think I hope it's not I, I hope, hope it's, it's not, not too. I think for this person writing in, like I don't think like I think you should just enjoy the now. Like mm. you're in a lovely relationship. I mean, I hope so. If if you think that's you, what I'm, that's what I'm questioning. Well, I know. It's like, is it? Well, it, well. Do you f- do you do you feel good about the relationship if you feel like they might just leave? I think that's a separate thing, though, isn't it? It's like we don't know the context, but that doesn't sound like a healthy feeling that you should have. But I was just gonna say, if you feel like you are in a happy relationship, you like if if that person breaks up with you like they were meant to you yeah, can't worry so true, you yeah. can't worry that that's going to happen it's like if you're enjoying now hopefully you are i'm not sure but hopefully you are it's like just enjoy the now mm-hmm. and then you know you might change your mind they might change their mind but you can't control that yeah but i do think for the person writing in like this isn't a normal thought that you should be having it doesn't sound healthy well yeah it's like it's it's regardless of whether the relationship is like happy and healthy or not that does seem like a uh, quite an intense mm. feeling to be like living with yeah. day to day do you know what i mean it would make you not be able to like function if you are worrying about that like i've never ever thought about that with you yeah have you thought about it with other people i've thought about me breaking up with them and when i can break up with them right cool and i hope that they break up with me so i can break up with them like i've had toxic relationships where you're like oh no like i wish something would happen so that i could just leave right now yeah but i've never but what would you so what would your advice be if you were in that situation what the situation that the person is that's written in that we just said like you've got, thinking, you've got to leave. You can't. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, think okay. you should ever feel like you want a relationship to end if you're in one. You should Completely. never feel about that. You should never. Life's too short. You might get hit by a truck tomorrow, and you're going to waste your last day of life sat next to someone that you wish you weren't sat next to. It's like mm. absolutely not. Mm-hmm. And for this person that wrote in, like, you need to talk to your partner about this feeling. Because if it's something yeah. that they're doing that's making you feel like this, that screen's gone off. Is that fine? Mm, interesting. I think probably we got to wrap it up. In two minutes. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think you got to talk to your partner. Yeah, um, and and also like I hope that 
this that that it's not that situation. Do you know what I mean? So do like I. I hope that the person who wrote in is just has like said that worried. to their yeah. to their partner before, and the partner has said that's not going to happen. Like mm. you know, <laughs> and yeah. that, and that it's like a trust. Uh, that there's some trust there. I feel like you need to shift the perspective back onto you. How do you feel? Do you want to stay with them? Mm. How like. You know, you might change your mind and you might want to leave. Like, I feel like it's very focused on them and you need to push it back to you because you're the most important thing and how yeah, you feel so yeah. is, like, m- most important. So, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. It's a difficult one. But it's not something you should put up with, I don't think. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't think I've got much to... We to have to that, end honestly. this podcast now, we need to say. We have to end it because <laughs> the, camera's the camera's gonna, gonna die. die and I haven't um I haven't charged another big battery for it. It's okay. Um I loved those quest questions. <laughs> I tried to shorten questions. <laughs> um Yeah, me too. Hope we were like I hope we were helpful in I way. think we should start saying at the end of every podcast. We are not. We are. We don't know what we're talking about. We don't know what we're talking about. Like this is totally anything, our view. Like, yeah, this is totally just us. We are not therapists. Please don't take it too seriously. And also, everyone should get therapy. Hundred percent. Everyone should get therapy. Love you. Thanks for doing it with me. Yep. Love you too. See you next week. See you next week. Must have been two minutes.